Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good, sunshine and stuff. So there that's that's it pretty much. <laughs> okay, I got a fun video today. I did a video I'm gonna I think about a month ago on the fossil bags the Sydney uh, the Rachel and the Fiona and I only ha I had had ordered three off my car none of them brand new uh, but very good used condition at a very very good price compared to what you would pay retail but anyway and um I had two of the Sydney and one of the the Rachel's but I didn't have any of the Fiona's uh, I liked I like the Rachel the best because I liked that they're both the same size, exact same size on the, you know, body wise. Um, they just have a few little different features. Um, my, the Sydney that I liked best was the brown that had kind of like a Louis Vuitton um, style going on and it had feet on the bottom. So I really liked that one. That's going to be great for winter time. Um, the Rachel was made out of a tweed fabric, um, but it has a pocket on the front, pocket on the back, and then I really like the handles the best because they are connected by a grommet and not just sewn on. So I, that, I liked that one the best as far as carrying. And then the other one, um, I actually ended up selling to someone because I just, I knew I was not going to use it. I just didn't like the, it was the same body style and everything, but I just didn't like the way it, I just didn't like it. How about that? <laughs> So I did a little research on the Fiona bag and everyone kept telling me it's a little bit bigger. So I'm like, oh, I've got to find one. And what I wanted, I did not think I could find. I want, you know, pink, a very light, light pink color um, leather. I didn't want the, the other ones I got. None of them were actually leather. Um, but so I wanted a leather one and I wanted to find pink. I didn't think I would find one and if you go on their website and stuff they're like $178 and yeah wasn't prepared to spend that kind of money so I just happened to get very lucky on Macari and found a lady that was selling one Fiona extremely light pink beautiful gray interior that went so well with the pink because I love those combination colors well, of course leather and she was selling it and it's brand new still in its package everything brand new um she sold it for 55 dollars so i bought it <laughs> so here she is i have got her filled up to the brim and i've got my little oh gosh let's see if i make sure i get all this in the film got my little mrs bigfoot on here you know with her pink toenails and her pink bow I do live in Bigfoot country, so hey. And I just put a cute little scarf around right there. There's the little fossil key. And as you can see, the beautiful pink leather. I've got it in front of my window. I'm hoping the lighting is really going to show well. I'm trying to give it as much light as I can so it will actually highlight the bag a little bit. Bear with me here, ladies. Let's see. I need a taller, um, this thingy. <laughs> Tripod is what I need. But isn't that beautiful? You have to really see it, you know, in person to appreciate it completely. But see, it's just, I don't think it's in, it may be a tad bigger than the other two if it is it's just a tad I haven't actually measured it or anything but it's made exactly the same zippers go all the way down um you know so and then the only uh it has a pocket but the pocket is I don't I don't like the pocket as well it's instead of deep you know where you can put your phone in it's 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 wide so just a little bit of difference there but you can still get your phone in there whatever keys if you want to do that but as far as what I have in it, all planner necessities are in there. So yeah, I fit everything. Um, I just put, I have one of my small wallets, one of my little coach wallets in there. And I just ordered to go with it. Um, 
I'd love to find a pink fossil wallet to go with it, but I want a small one so I don't have a lot of, you know, room because this is, you know, this is perfect size right here. So I found a Vera Bradley that I just ordered that's, you know, I love Vera Bradley and her colors are just crazy all over the place. This one's very, very beautiful. It's a very light pink blush like the bag and it's just got pretty little white flowers all over it. So, and then it's blush pink on the inside so it's beautiful the only thing with beer is you know they get dirty really quick but anyway i think i'm going to go if i can talk my husband into it in a few weeks if they are open to the coach outlet store because i know they have these wallets in a very beautiful light pink and that would be perfect so i think in a few weeks i'm going to try that try and talk my husband and going with me because we have to drive about an hour and a half to get there and you know I don't do so well on those long trips with my body okay so she's in there and then I have my pretty little pink I love this it's not even real leather and I love it it's just like a uh, cosmetic bag but I just love the pattern I would love to have a um, planner in this wouldn't that be pretty and she's just full of all kinds of stuff hand sanitizer mask uh, makeup, perfume, hair thingies, uh, emergency medications, Tide stick because I wear everything I eat when I'm in a restaurant. That kind of thing, don't you know? But yeah, so you can see there's my little, my little germets. I keep this in my purse, plus I have one I keep in my car. I am prepared for that kind of stuff. Um, not that I'm scared of COVID. I'm really not. I just, you know, just doing what everybody else is doing and taking the necessary precautions. So, anyway, there is that that fits in there. And then my eyeglass case with my regular eyeglasses in it. Have that. Also have just regular readers. And these are a little bit strong. The thing I hate about my prescription is they never can get it right. I paid like $400 this time for glasses because I got two pair. And I just paid out of pocket because it was close to the beginning of the year. And I had not received my um, card that had the eyeglass stuff on it, you know, that they needed, the vision part. And I didn't want to wait because I was tired of being blind. I got them and I'm still blind. They're, they always talk me into the progressive lenses, and I don't like the progressive lenses. They do not work for me. I can wear them fine when I'm driving and all that kind of stuff, but when it, and, but when it comes to actually reading, the reading part is so far down, I cannot put my eyes down that low. I just want, you know, I'm good with bifocals. And next time, I'm just going to insist, give me bifocals. I don't care about the others. Give me bifocals. I don't mind it. I'm fine with it. And then I also have in this pocket a new mask that I have not even opened yet. And it's got a Bible verse on it. 1 Corinthians 13, 8. I thought that was pretty nifty. So, I got that. Isn't it, isn't it weird how now our, our masks have become fashion accessories? Go on Etsy and look how many cute ones you can buy. And some, of course, gum. I always have gum and then I always leave it there forever. And then these are just some acid pills, you know, indigestion pills. Because I get it like crazy. A little bow that sometimes my hair, when it falls down in the back, I just put it up with that. Medication. <laughs> you know you're old when you have to make room for medication in your handbag cute little pen I got, actually got this and a blue one at the Dollar General and it was just really cheap look it's got the jewel on top talk about your perfect little cute little planner pen it's just an ink pen but it still it writes pretty gosh darn good to just be an ink pen my massive amount of crazy keys I have I bought my car Oh, I guess I've had it four months now, and I still haven't taken this thing off of it. <laughs> it's a push start, so all I have to do is just leave the key in the, you know, my bag, and that's it. But I've got my elephant. I've had this thing for years. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then I've got my pretty 
dolphin on there. She's super heavy. She's chunky chunky. I also have an old Kathy Van Zelen charm on there. It came out of one of her handbags years ago. Years and years and years and years ago. I got a little barky puppy. And then in the back pocket, see back here, see how pretty that is, the pink with the gray. I just love that. Um, I have more makeup stuff. I have a makeup brush. Do -do -do. Some Laura Geller foundation. The official fossil bag that I have not even gone through this thing yet. It's just a little tells you about fossil and stuff. Another little brush. And two more pens. My inner gels, which are my favorite pens. Right there. Pink and pink and excuse me, blue and black. And then the final shabang shaboom. I have my little A6 that fits in there just fine. Or Estelle. So I get to carry this bad boy with me everywhere. And I'm pretty stoked. Um, it does seem to fit better in this bag. So it may be a little bit bigger. I will have to get dimensions for you guys and, let, and you know, and tell you eventually. I am trying to get a new A6. Just because this color, I'm not too, this is the only A6 planner I have and I'm not too fond of this color now that I've got my other prettier one, prettier ones my gray and my pink how perfect would this be hold on one second here to go in my purse how perfect would that size be with this color almost identical plus I've got the gray tab tell me that wouldn't be perfect absolutely gorgeous but she's just this is a b sits and it is a she's just too big she would not fit in the handbag if maybe it's all i carried she would but she's not gonna what i'd really like and what i'm hoping for and it'll be a while before i can get it um is a vanderspect in the a sits that would be really nice and they have a beautiful um, I can't I just can't decide what color I want from them or if I want to do a color combination or you know that kind of thing cannot decide but what I do want is some variation of, of pink <laughs> do I want dark pink do I want light pink and dark pink I've looked at they have a beautiful uh, light pink ostrich um, one that I like and you know you can do it either way because it's custom made so if you want that to be the only leather they use you can only color or you can do it in different colors you can do it you know a color on the inside or and then another color on the outside it's just they're so very diverse in the things that you can do with them and so i just have to decide uh, i do know if i completely customize it the exact way that i want it that I am going to end up spending a nice little chunk of money. Of course, getting the A6 size, it'll be a little bit less expensive, but um yeah, it's going to it's it's going to cost me some money. So before I can do that, I got to make some money. And I have been working hard. I've been working uh, putting up new designs up on my Etsy shop, you know, trying to get some revenue, trying to keep my Macari uh store stocked with goodies and everything so I, I i've been doing all i can do to try okay trying to pick up everything that i pulled out and put it back in the right place the one thing with this bag because it's not an overly huge bag which i like because you know of my my various ailments <laughs> shall we say um it's hard to carry things when you start getting arthritis in your shoulders and arms and then of course you know they have fibromyalgia on top of that big bags as much as i love them get extremely extremely difficult to carry i love my doonies and burks i have so many of those i've sold a few but i still have tons left i that i will not part with because 
you know I just love the ones I do have um, but they're very heavy handbags you know the leather quality is fantastic but they're thick the leather's thick and it's heavy just gets more beautiful over time my in my opinion a Dooney and Burke wears better than any other handbag I don't care if you go out and buy you a Louis Vuitton a Birkin bag you know some of those Birkin bags are like two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> I don't care Dooney's better Dooney is just an amazing well-made tough handbag and they're beautiful so though they will always be my favorite but this be, I would be carrying it for a while. I'm hoping the rainy season doesn't start. And I'm hoping she holds, you know, out well. Because when it starts raining here, that's when I usually tr uh, change into my either a coated canvas or one of my dunies, the pebble leather. Because dunies can get rained on all day long. And if it's, as long as it's the pebble leather, leather it doesn't matter. <laughs> they just... That's why they have the duck sign because the water just the all weather leather the water just falls off of it like it does a duck and it really does i live in the pacific northwest i can attest to that so we'll see but i just love her i love it love it love it see here's the little this is actually the front with the pocket part up there's your little fossil right there too i am totally stoked that it was a fantastic fantastic find it really really was so okay so I want to show you a little bit uh, just a couple of things that I've done on my Etsy shop since I am a uh, chronic illness uh, sufferer myself I'm always looking for cool little things to put in my health planner that help you know spoonies that's what they call people that have got all these you know diseases we have you know bunches of stuff for, they call a spoonie so uh if you go on etsy and you look up you know like spoonie planners uh not a ton but a good amount of stuff pops up where people try to uh design things that help make our lives a little bit easier and as you guys know if you've watched my videos this is my health planner so this is my aurora Estelle personal wide and this is what i use um uh, let me get a, a grab a sip of coffee please excuse me this is what i use to keep my medications my doctor's list symptoms i even have a little section that's a teeny tiny little daily diary that i go in and um you know just write out some of the stuff for the day i keep um these two pans are green and a red because those are the main colors I use to color code my pain levels for the day. Um, I keep a, um, you guys know what this is, it's just the mild liner and then a pen of whatever I happen to throw in there. This is one of the Sharpie gel pens. I like them okay. They're not great. They're not the best by any means. They do smear more than the others. I'm a left-handed person, so I need pens that do not smear. So anyway. This is my, um, I made this. Purple butterflies represent fibromyalgia, you know, along with other things, but they really represent fibromyalgia. And so I just laminated me a piece of, I printed a design out on a piece of vellum. And you see there it says plan and it's got the purple butterflies. And then this is a sticker that I got from Michaels. I think from Michaels, either Michaels or Joann's. And I just put that on there and then layered it on top of this one that I made. It says Fibro Warrior. So, and if you know anybody with fibromyalgia, you know it is a daily battle. So we do war. And then, you know, usually we have tons of other symptoms that go on top of that. And then I just put in my little to-dos. That's my, you know, uh, table of contents that I made. Dailies. Just I just broke them up into sections. So you got to dailies first, monthlies, weekly, and then the inbox and you know just put a bunch of little stuff this is one of the dailies that i made and i'm uh, printed out an a5 size too so you could see it a little bit better so i'm gonna grab that up here and i just titled it spoonie daily so this is what it has so you just do your daily plan so if you have appointments or tasks or anything put that down 
one thing that I have discovered in making all these daily planners and using a ton of daily planners is I like writing down a routine um, because of the brain problems we have fibromyalgia it just it makes you so forgetful I mean literally I if you've noticed I stutter a lot because I'll be in the middle of the sentence and then I'll forget the word I was going to use um, brain fog is horrible and it can be caused by fibromyalgia other conditions and the medications you have to take can make you foggy in your brain for sure so writing out a routine a daily routine even if I have to deviate from that routine from time to time it's the more I write it out, the more I remember because it'd be so easy to forget to take your medications. I almost did that this morning because I got up with something on my mind and I almost completely forgot my meds. So writing it down all, helps me to remember. So I just write down my daily routine. I glance at it throughout the day to make sure I haven't forgotten anything because I forget to feed my fish if I don't look at it. <laughs> you know, I don't want dead fish. So, um... A, writing out a daily routine is awesome it, it really really helps and I think I need to go in and actually um, fix the mistake I made on this one on my Etsy I think I forgot the E on that and I need to fix that and upload the new file but anyway I do have this on my Etsy shop so it gives you uh, write out your daily plans appointments whatever your routine here and it's dated uh, for every half hour starts at 7 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. and then meds so you write down the meds you take in the morning and the meds you take in the after in the evening that's how I, I keep my brain functioning <laughs> that is, that's my brain function thing right there and then the next thing I made and let me get to it this is my little diary session I didn't make this but it's just see how it is it's just dated so I do a little diary every day uh what kind of day i've had pain why and I, I usually i don't do it as far as oh i went and did this this and this i uh write down symptoms of the day what uh, you know how i was feeling that kind of thing and i also have if you've seen it see this is my medical section now i didn't make this i'm i purchased these and i have some that are the correct size too from yeah here we go from uh, printables for planners she's got some wonderful stuff on her shop but it's doctor visits so you can write down who what when where dates comments all that kind of stuff um, even qu and this is very important if you have a foggy brain write down any questions you have for your doctor and have that in front of you when you sit down to speak with that doctor because I use if I don't I will forget anything and everything that I want to talk to him about anything or her so um, write them down write them down but this is just helps you keep track of you basically do all the records that the doctor has your weight height blood pressure heart rate all that kind of stuff prescription prescription instructions everything so that is really cool and like I said that's a shop called printables for planners on Etsy that I got that from um and then i also you know have a place for my doctor's visits just appointments sleep tracker but i don't use that but i do use my mood tracker i use that daily to keep track of of my moods um and then this is where i do my pain trackers and uh, it's, i've got it color coded i don't have it written out but usually blue is mi mild uh, green's moderate uh, red would be severe and black would be un unbearable so most of my days days are either uh red or green and some you know as you can see a lot of times it's a combination of those things okay and then back here I have all my doctor's information their phone numbers addresses that kind of thing because sometimes your doctors want to you know all my doctors are aware of each other now and they communicate back and forth but if you're going to see a doctor for the first time especially it's very important to have all that information in case they don't it, it helps them to be able to get everything you need together and together much more quickly okay so I wanted to show you as you see I don't decorate this one quite as much as I do my other ones because this is more functional um, just like these are my weeklies that are great for little spoonies I uh, oh gosh I told someone the other day where I got these from and now I can't remember but I always make and print out different ones for myself what I like to use and just this but this is what I made to kind of go along 
with this one and it's a it's a week at a glance so it's not like a weekly well you can you can use this if you can get all the information in this that you need you can use it for whatever you want to obviously but i made it basically to be like a week at a, at a glance um and so it's a two page one so you got of course your health weekly and then i put your health goals personal care which is very important personal goals because those things are different and then things that relax me that is very important when you do when you do have chronic illnesses it's very important to find things that help you to relax so that you can step back and just you know not let everything drive you nuts so it's just things that and you can reflect back on say okay this worked maybe it'll work again that kind of thing and then you just have your date and days of the week and then again your meds so your am meds and your pm meds and i just thought that was cute i put two little pills there just you know you know kept it color coordinated so i also have these up on my etsy i have it in the personal size um uh personal wide and personal wide will also fit a b6 and those are on the same i don't know if i uploaded the a5 or not i will have to check i may have to because that would be good to put that in there too i like it when people put them for multiple sizes so you get all those files and you can you know download all of them so anyway so that is what i've been up to making lots of this kind of stuff and you know trying to make some money <laughs> Uh, so I'll tell my husband, he's like, what are you doing now? I'm like, I'm trying to make money. Leave me alone. Be, be, be grateful that I have this outlet. Because for me, it is an outlet. It's so enjoyable. Uh, just the creative process. As much as I love planners, you know, it's just, it's such a blessing for me to be able to do this kind of stuff. I am just so grateful that I found this community and this, just everything about this has been wonderful for me i got some crazy stuff going on right now with my oldest daughter and the kind of stuff that just makes you want to you know your brain explode she's having so many difficulties and you know it breaks a mama's heart to watch her kids go through things especially when we want to help but we can't they have to learn to make better choices and that kind of thing so it is what it is but anyway i hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed seeing the beautiful fiona bag that i got well you know i am i love pink pink planners pink handbags i just love them i don't wear a lot of pink it doesn't really it kind of washes me out so but i still love it that's why i'm so happy to have a little granddaughter i can just shower her in pink hopefully she would love it too <laughs> but anyway i had a great time showing you guys all this fun stuff i hope you enjoyed it as always uh, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel share me with other people leave me comments let youtube know that you enjoy what i do that way they share me with other people and you know gets me out there to a bigger broader audience and you know every youtuber wants their channel to be able to grow and everything and i am no different I love having this community. You guys are fantastic. You, you are a lifesaver for me. I hope that I entertain you, but you are a lifesaver for me. So, anyway, I will also, in the um, description box, I will put down my address there. I will put down my email if you want to email me any questions you may have, or you can leave your questions in the comments, whichever you like to do. I do have a Patreon, Tilted Tierra Ministries, if you'd like to check that out, and my Etsy shop which is Tilted Tierra Design. That, I have that too. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.